Hello, my name is Rizelle Baldivino, and my topic is base 10 blocks, specifically for K through 6. So now to introduce base 10 blocks. Base 10 blocks are pre-bundled materials that illustrate the place value relationships that 10 makes 110 and 110 equals to 10 ones. It consists of thousands, which are cubes, hundreds, which are flats, tens, which are rods, and ones, as shown in this chart on the left. Now let's look at the chart on the right. The one cube is the smallest block. It represents a single object. The rod is made up of 10 one cubes in a group. It represents 10 objects grouped together. The flat is made up of 10 rods in a group, or 100 one cubes in a group. It represents 100 objects grouped together. The thousands cube is made up of 10 flats in a group, or 100 rods in a group, or 1,000 one cubes in a group. It represents 1,000 objects grouped together. So let's look at what math it teaches. Base 10 blocks can help with addition and subtraction, multiplication and division, number sense, place value, counting, and decimals. I have included pictures and examples of some math concepts to help you understand each topic I use to teach. So here we see multiplication and it's laid out in arrays and mo models. We see Subtraction up here, addition, division, and place value with two tens frames. So take a look at each of these examples to get a clear understanding of how to use it, which can help with the activity later on. So now let's look at how base tens blocks help students to access the math content. Base 10 blocks help students to physically represent what they're learning so they can develop a deeper understanding of each math concept. When students use base 10 blocks, they can learn regrouping and see how each operation is used. Having students use base 10 blocks allows us to see how students answer each math problem. Thinking can be seen through the positioning of the blocks. So now let's look at the concrete level. At the concrete level, students use hands-on manipulatives and use 3D objects to represent their thinking. So here's how the base 10 blocks look. We have the thousands, the tens, and the ones. This is what we saw earlier. And now let's look at an example. So when we're doing addition, we would start with the problem 25 plus 13. So here we would get our base 10 blocks and lay them out. So now we have two tens for the 20 and 25, and five ones for the five and 25. And then we have one 10 for the 10 and 13, and three ones for the three and 13. Then we would combine the similar blocks and add it together. So we have three tens now and eight ones. And now we would add it together and make 38. So now let's look at the semi-concrete level. At the semi-concrete level, students use images to represent objects to solve problems. Now let's look at the sample. For example, the problem is 513 plus 124. So here for the hundreds, you use cubes or squares. For the tens, you would use lines or dashes. And for the ones, we would use dots or circles. And now for the problem, we have five squares. For the 500 and 513, one line for the 10 
in 513 and three dots for the three in 513. Plus 124, we have one square for the 124. Two lines for the 20 and 124. And four dots for the four and 124. And now you would combine the like objects or images. And now we see 600 plus 30 plus 7 is 637. And that's how you do the semi-concrete level for addition. And now let's look at the abstract level. At the abstract level, students use only numbers and symbols to solve problems. On the left, we see all the levels, the concrete, the semi-concrete and the abstract. So let's focus in on the abstract level. We have 23 plus 15 equals to 38. So in order to get that problem, you would look at the cubes that they give you and either count them or they give you the numbers and that's how you get the addition problem. Students are shown the blocks but write numbers to represent the problems or are just given the math problem in numbers to solve. So here in the right we see here's all the addition problems. You don't have any manipulatives, any counters, and you just solve it straightforward. So now here's our activity. We're using the semi-concrete level. So here are the steps before I show you the actual Jamboard and the web other website. So you would go to the Jamboard and choose a problem. Then you would go to the other link, which is the auto draw link to show your work and solve the problem. And once you solve the problem, take a picture of the work and add it to the Jamboard. So here's the Jamboard. You have many problems, 415 plus 210. 215 plus 310, and a bunch of math problems, one for each of the students. And you would just choose the problem, whichever one you want, then go to the other link, which is the auto draw website. And you would show your work here. So let's say I have the problem 55 plus 31. So now, previously we learned that we use dashes for the tens and circles or dots for the ones. So now I will get my tool here that I need and I would draw five lines for the five. And five dots, one or circles since it's easier. Two, three, four, five. And for 31, we will do the same. Add three lines for the three and one circle. To make it easier, we just circle it here and circle the like objects. You can add an addition sign if you need. You have 80 plus 6 equals to 86. And then you would take a picture of it, add it to the Jamboard, and you are done. And that is all for Base 10 Blocks. Thank you.